We've had a very strong research group looking at mRNA and mRNA vaccines through Colin Powton's group here at MIPS, Monash Institute for Pharmaceutical Sciences. And when the pandemic arose, it was an obvious thing to do to take that expertise from Colin's group, knowing that we're going to, as a country, have to be able to develop and manufacture mRNA vaccines and build that into the Master of Pharmaceutical Science degree. We were working on mRNA at the time and it was very sort of just natural for us to try and get into that field ourselves and we have got a program of mRNA vaccine development for COVID. It was really exciting to work on something that was drastically changing all our lives and it's our solution to this pandemic and suddenly I was on placement with Australia's leading experts in this field. I was able to talk to the people who understood it the most and whose jobs was to create it be able to work on a COVID vaccine during a COVID pandemic it was a great experience because I didn't really think any of us would produce a vaccine successfully, but we all did. And that's a testament to how well they wrote the method and how well they function as a lab together. We're working with one local company to make a clinical trials product for our vaccine, but also there are other companies that are really looking hard at what's the future business prospect for mRNA therapeutics. Most people currently think of vaccines for COVID, but that technology can easily be expanded to other diseases. So vaccines for cancer, for example. So while mRNA vaccines are an important focus of this, the knowledge that students would get as part of the uh, Master of Pharmaceutical Science will translate well into other areas of vaccine production. Victoria so far has committed $50 million to mRNA manufacturing. So it's pretty clear there's a strong commitment from Victorian government to develop mRNA vaccine manufacturing facilities and our graduates are going to be perfectly placed to, uh, to work in facilities like that.